So we just got done at the range. Um, pretty good day. We were able to get all the optics sighted in. Run a few drills, get some B-roll. I'm sure you, you've seen it, uh, but yeah. But I'm here with my buddy, uh, Loki Bend again, because uh, again, he and I go to the range quite often. And uh, I let him shoot the AR with all the parts, the, uh, the Alpha Stock Mark II, the 17 degree grip, uh, pistol grip, the slim vertical foregrip, and the uh, hand stop. So we're gonna see what he thinks. So, yeah. what do you think, man? Uh, well, the butt stock, the it's got a good feel to the shoulder. However, I wish it had a different uh, angle design for the cheek weld because it's not the most comfortable to rest against. But I mean, it's it's not bad for the price, and it's, it felt pretty good. One criticism I had to change it uh, cheap well, make it more comfortable. Um, the pistol grip, that felt pretty good. Uh, no complaints. I mean, I didn't feel, I mean, it, it felt comfortable. I mean, I got no complaints against it. And for the uh, the hand stop, nice little hand stop up there. Um, if you're running a shorter barrel, putting a hand stop there might save you from getting your hand out in front of the rail and getting a concussion blast. So that's always cool. And then the, uh, the front and forward grip. It was nice. Uh, I'm not usually a fan of vertical foregrips, but that one felt pretty good, especially when you combined it with the uh, hand stop. It would give me a nice little place to grab onto and a nice little lock in for it. So that was good. Yeah, that, it kind of, I, the reason I did that is because it kind of reminded me of the uh, like a like an angled foregrip. Yeah. Where you got that little bit of stop, but if you wanted to, you could you know run your index finger across the front and help kind of drive it back in. Yeah, and I ended up most time when I was running, I had kind of my pinky and my. Uh, my ring finger on the vertical and then the rest of my hand was up on the rail against the uh, hand stop. So that was pretty comfortable. Yeah. Well, and the other thing I didn't share with you too is the uh, the slim vertical foregrip actually it does have a um, a hidden compartment on the bottom. Nice. So you can, you know, store your extra batteries or, you know, a cleaning cloth for that flocking of the seats and stuff. So um, speaking of the sights, what did you think of the sights? The sights are pretty good. Uh, I mean, I I've used a bunch of different sights. They had nice clear viewpoints. The, the glass was pretty clear. I mean, we, we tossed them, we dropped them. The anodized finish marred a little bit, but that's gonna happen on any optic, even my Vortex will mar. But the lenses didn't scratch, the lenses didn't crack, and the optic stayed just where it's supposed to be. Because we ran some more shots in them after that, and they were hitting right where they were supposed to be at. So, yeah, everything came out pretty good. Yeah, so I'm happy with them too, um, and like I said, and, and with that P12, I tossed that one. That one was definitely higher than the that other two like that I tossed. 15, 20 yards tall. Yeah, it was it was pretty tall. And she had a couple pretty good bounces too. So. Yes, she did. It did it did bounce quite a few times hitting the ground, and it still stayed on. So, I mean, for the price and for the budget of these optics, you're gonna you're getting a pretty solid optic. I'd run the P12. He would run the P12. Okay. I just have, I, I, if I was going to pick one, I'd pick the P12. I just have to figure out, uh, I'd have probably have to build it and go to put it on. Yeah, I mean, you could probably put it on your um, pistol. Yeah, Air but pistol. I'm not replacing my holographic for that. Oh, so. well, no, I, I don't blame you there. But I mean, like, a, your pistol format, I think it would look real good on it. Yeah. Because <clears> it is a smaller red dot. Yep. Um, it's got a smaller profile, and it does, that's the one thing I do <laughs> like, is it does come with that extra one-third co-witness mount. Or but, riser. I mean, since it's got the mount system that it has, you could put that as your 45 degree red dot very, very easily. True. That is true. I don't know if I personally would, uh, mainly because I feel like it's a little too big. However, the MVR, the little, you know, the one with like the infinite um, eye, eye relief, um, you know, like your generic red dot, I think I could run that one as a, yeah. as a 45. Because I think it looks pretty good that way. Yeah. And I think it would serve as a pretty solid optic to co-witness co with my 45 iron. Well, I would, I would like to run it with my 45 just because since it is encased, if I, have, if I no matter where I put it, if I have round, if I have a shell case that's coming out, they're going to hit me hitting the frame and not the lens or any of the other components. So Yeah, that is true. That is true. And if I'm using that, if I'm, if I'm switching to my 45-degree my side optic, uh, it's going to be close range. So I... Right. 
Yeah. So. No, that makes sense. Mostly just at that point, it's just a reference point where I'm aiming at. Right. Cool. Well, guys, all in all, today was a pretty good success. Uh, I was finally able to get some time to go out to the range and get these optics uh, tested and, and, you know, sighted in and give you guys my feedback. So, yeah. So, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, 